Hello guys, so we're gonna make a hammock terrain. Uh, this is something we have made before, long time ago, and I really want to eat one. So let's do it. <laughs> so just first of all, you need uh, like four hammock. First ones from the butcher. I finally find some in France. See those babies? Very nice. So those are semi-salted, so I'm gonna have to uh, soak them in water overnight to remove the excess of salt, or I can boil it twice, clean the water, boil it once, clean the water, and boil it again in fresh water, so it removes the salt a bit. And then, we're gonna get ready some vegetables, a mirepoix, just to flavor the stock, so we're gonna put some carrots, celery, um, those green leaves of the spring onions, a bit of bay leaves, thyme, <clears throat> and a bit of uh, shallots, and that will be it. All right, so very roughly, a whole garlic head cut in half, those leaves of the spring onion, they're getting a bit old, so you can put them in. That will replace a leek, which I don't have. With a leek is really nice. Celery branch with the leaves. Even with the bottom, no problem. Few carrots for sweetness. Doesn't have to be peeled. Oh, this one as well is very old. Up, bit of thyme bit of bay leaves and finally a shallot or two shallots with the skin no problem there this is our little vegetable ready to go into the water with a hammock beautiful okay so those hammock uh, they've been boiling twice so I boiled it once in cold water, from cold water. Change the water again, boil it again, and that's, that's it. So most of the salt has been removed from the meat. So this one has been uh, um, brined to uh, preserve it a bit longer. So you can have, you can buy them fresh or like that. But if they are salted, you have to remove the salt before to use it. So. Uh, that's it. So if you soak them in water overnight in the fridge, it's better. Or you can boil it twice as I just did. So let's change the water. Okay, so I've got clean water now. I'm gonna put my hammock back into the water. There you go. And all my little veggie. Like that. A bit of peppercorn. Yeah, so now we're gonna boil this long time until the meat fall off the bones. In a pressure cooker, for sure, it'll be a bit quicker. But it's nice to give it a bit of time and give a bit of smell in the house. I'm gonna put a lid. I will check it a bit later. So in meantime, uh, I've been peeling some little shallots like that, round shallots or baby onions. But I leave the little uh, tail most of it so it holds together so those ones i'm gonna confit them into the broth that the ham did so let's do that right so this is boiling away it smells very nice already so i'm gonna get some of that stock put it in a small pan so i'm gonna cook my little onions and because this broth is very rich in ham fat, you can see, they're gonna kind of comfy. And I will add them into the terrain. Yeah, that should be plenty. Yeah. I'm gonna simmer them gently. 
and this is need a little bit more cooking. Won't be long now. There we go, guys. This is done now. The meat fall off the bones, literally. So we're gonna scoop them up. Let's scoop them out. Nice and tender. So what time is now? They've been cooking for three hours. There we go. Little piece of meat. So we're gonna let them cool down uh, and once they are a bit warm, not still hot, but warm, then we're gonna start to uh, uh, take the meats apart and um, and then we'll finish it. All right, and uh, this juice, we're gonna sieve it and we're gonna use it later to moisten the tearin together because this is like a pure natural gelatin from the ham hock. All right, so now we're gonna just do the final touch, final preparation. The meat is cooled down. We got our little baby onions confit. So I've just drained them, nice and cooked. Or juice and I got this uh, raspberry vinegar uh, usually I'm using like a uh, cherry vinegar to give a fruity note so I think with raspberry it works nice too and uh, some green peppercorn which are very tender so I'm gonna crush some and spread it all over the meat so right now I'm gonna just chop finely my parsley all right so let's reserve this on the side I think it's a moment of truth. We're gonna pick the meat out. All right, so those big chunky. Remove the fat. Just pick the meat. Mm. It's gonna be delicious. All right, now I'm just picking up a bit of the fat. Nice and... So that will create a bit of moisture. Fill my hands and come back. Okay. So now I'm gonna clean film my terrain mold on the inside so it won't stick. Like that. One on that side. Okay. So nice and against the mold. There we go. So we have a nice layer. So now the meat. I saved some of the garlic. I'm just gonna squish it in because this is flavor, right? Up. And now I'm gonna season it a bit of parsley, not too much. I'm gonna put some vinegar and now start mixing it. So I want to keep a bit of chunk. So I'm gonna crush it a bit, but not too much. Something like that. Lovely. It's nice and green. Let me test it. Hmm. Vinegar is good actually. Hmm. Okay now. A bit more moist. Mm, nice and juicy, you see? Something like that. Okay. Peppercorn. I need to clean my hands again. 
green peppercorn. Not too much because it's quite hot. In UK, I was using them the fresh one. There. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Let's be crazy. I will give a little kick. Right, now I think I'm done. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit lightly, slightly vinegary, so that's great. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna build it now. Oh, I got too much parsley. So, let's do. Am I gonna have enough meat to do a whole tearing? Probably not, so I will stop here, I think. So, let's put the first bottom of it. Need to press it down. Like that. Now, we're gonna do a layer of shallot. Or baby onions, the way you want to call them. On that side, then one more layer, and then the other side will do onion. So when you cut the slice, you'll have an onion here and an onion here. Okay, there. Okay, so now we're gonna cover it with the broken meat here, so we can fill up the gaps easier. Around the onions. And then a bit more. There we go. Give a little press. And now onions on this side. just had one they're delicious up voila Comme ça. now little bit of broken meat again Now we're gonna have to press it quite a lot. I'm gonna block it on that side here because I'm not using the whole mold. Let's put more juicy, juicy. I was gonna drink it, we'll see. So it goes nice and soft. Once it's set, it's gonna be delicious. There, cover it, cover it, there we go. So now, it's gonna go in the fridge, but first I need to put something to press it down. That's a bit too big, so I'm gonna cut it a piece and I come back. So I got my piece of wood here. I'm just gonna clean from it because it's not too clean. <laughs> So then it'd be fine. There. So this, see, I'll give it a little press. I hope on that side it's gonna hold. I need something to hold it here. <laughs> okay, you think I'm gonna, I'm crazy, but I'm gonna use a stone. <laughs> hey, it's natural. Oh yes, there, the wood to press it down, there, and now that's gonna go in the fridge, we're gonna put something heavy on top and let it set, and tomorrow morning we will cut a slice and see. 
Okay, moment of truth. That's been spent all day, all night, all day in the fridge, so 24 hours. So I'm gonna remove my piece of wood, <laughs> my stone. And see, it has been well compressed. So that's great. Now, let me take it out. There. Okay, let's remove the cling film. So you can see the piece of jelly here. That's quite beautiful. Let's get the first slice. And a bit thicker one. Yeah, you can see the shallots. I was missing a bit of meat at the top. But uh, you got one here. Yeah, that's good. See? You can see the big lump of hams, the parsley, the pepper, the green peppercorn. Okay. Let's plate one. There. And the best thing to eat this is with piccalilli. Aha, uh -huh, piccalilli. If you want to see how it's made, or how I made it, uh, it would be uh, the next video, I think. And let's put piccalilli all around. Beautiful. Okay, let's try. Can't wait. Hey, Nolan. Hello. I got a special guest. Hello. <laughs> you want to try? Yeah. We got the piccalilli first. Mm -hmm. All right. Mmm, that's really good. Yeah? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. It's very tender. Mmm. Now, with a bit of piccalilli. Like that. Mmm. Want to try? Yeah. Mmm. There's the shallots as well to eat. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's red peppers. Is your favorite? Wow. <laughs> that's it, guys. I think that's a beautiful little starter. So um, I hope you'll be able to make it. Enjoy. Bye-bye.